without squishing it yet, I want to show you how fucking big this thing is. I'm trying to get my horse blankets out, and these are what I keep finding. Oh gosh, get off of there. Come on, I don't want to... Hey everybody, I know it has been quite a while. I took the summer off, off of work, off of horses, off of everything. Um, and now we're fall time. <laughs> if you are on my Facebook page, you will know I've been dealing with this in the garage. But I am pulling winter blankets out. And I thought, oh, we're so close to Halloween. This would be perfect to share. Anyways, this is our messy shed. It's kind of got everything in it. Note that up there. See that web? There's webbing across the whole top. I've already pulled a couple of blankets out. And I already recorded one giant. And I mean giant. I put a quarter next to it. it is the size of a quarter in Canada, black widow. And I had so many black widows in the garage when I was cleaning it out. I feel like my nerves are on fire. Anyways, I thought I'd share this all with you. I'm using an antler because that's what I had. And I'm like scooping the blankets from the top, bringing them out here, opening them up, checking for spider nests, spiders. Um, yeah, come and open up some more blankets with me. <laughs> I feel like... If I have to go through this, you all can go through this with me. <sighs> yeah. I just know what by the amount of webs that are up there, there's more spiders than just the one that I already squashed. I have like, I don't know what it's called, fear, uh, fear is a good word, I have fear of pulling these blankets down and a spider crawling across my arm, I can't, <laughs> in my garage we were cleaning it out earlier, I think we squashed about seven or eight black widows okay okay come on don't be chicken we can do this it's just a spider okay oh okay this blanket's really heavy this one's james's and it's a huge blanket and it's a heavy blanket. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with the antler technique here. This is just a hood. My first inspection, I don't see anything on it. All right, well, that's good news so far. Oh, gosh. Okay, I can use my hands. I'm going to throw that over there for now. tell you my heart is pounding is no lie because I know the size of these black widows <sighs> and literally they could make 
horror movies out of these spiders. My dogs are on a mission here. I don't know what my dogs are getting into. We must smell a mousey in here. It's like... I don't, nothing's coming out of that. My dogs are on a mission. They're side questing over there. Alright, let's get this blanket out. I want this one down. Okay, we got it. Oh no, it's stuck on something. This is becoming quite the effort here. This blanket is so heavy. Throw it out there so I'm not touching it. Now I'm going to open it up, shake it out. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> A little bit horse related, not really, but here we are. This is life of owning horses and trying to prepare for winter. Okay. Okay, straps are safe. Okay. The first blanket I opened had some nests on it, and I think that's why I found the spider on it right away. I'm actually not seeing nests on this one. So maybe we won't find a spider on it, which is good. I don't think I can handle any more giant ass spiders. Whew. I don't know why we've lived here for over seven years and I've never seen this many black widows everywhere. It's like year of the black widow spider. If you don't know what they are, go do a quick Google search on them. They are super creepy and scary. Okay, this one I think we're safe. Whew. Throw that out of the way. I'm making a big mess. But now I'm like, we're going to do this. We're going to get these blankets out. Okay. I don't know how many more I want to take out of here. Whew. That was, I took out, oh yeah, I could see like perfect spider nest over there. Which a part of me is like, we need to demolish that because who wants a whole bunch of spider babies born in here. I sure do not. I don't need this hood. Oh my gosh. That is going to require a longer stick than the antlers I'm using. Oh my good gravy. Okay, one more blanket. I'll pull this one out. Oh, these blankets are so heavy. Put one of my antlers down. Oh, gosh, don't run on me. Oh, there you guys. Okay. 
throw it. <sighs> I kind of wish I'd find one so I could show you guys. <laughs> I can I videotaped it earlier so I could just add it if I don't find any new. I will be so grateful if there was only one spider in there making that huge nest. No, usually we worry about mice. Straps are safe. No nests so far. And I mean nests like those white balls of spider webbing. Because there's a huge one in there. I can see it up on the wall. And that was what was on the blanket the first time I found the ginormous one. This one doesn't know that there's one right here. A little tiny piece. Oh, that one looks okay. Spider free. All right. I'm gonna have to roll these all back up after. Give me my workout for the day. I don't know if I want to pull any more out, but um, I feel like I'm halfway done. Okay, we'll do it. Rosie's still on a mission over there. I don't know what she's getting. nest on this one either. We might be we might be doing okay. I'm gonna try and throw that out there for now. Oh gosh, if I see movement we're done. Oh, these blankets are super heavy. Okay. We're getting to the bottom. These are all just the baby blankets now. These ones. Yeah, those are all just the baby blankets. Okay, I'm going to leave the baby ones up here for now. They need to find a longer stick to clean up all the webs Ugh, up in the corner. Ugh, yeah, gross. Let's uh, open these guys up. Oh, there's a little bit of webbing on this one. Oh yeah, quite a few little nest things. Use a stick. They all look old, which just means babies were born. That's great. Raise some little spider babies on this blanket. There's one. Jordan's out moving hay bales around right now. Oh my gosh, we've been 
pretty busy all summer. Jordan's been riding a lot of client horses. Um, oh yeah. This one, aside from those few little nasty things, this one looks good. Roll it back up while I'm here. Oh, this one looks okay. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. All right, what I think I will do is add the video of the first blanket I pulled and show you the spider that was in it. And this will all make so much more sense to you to why it freaks me out. <sighs> Anyways. Here we are, starting to prepare for It's super deceiving. I can't quite get her to go to the quarter, but when her legs are out, she is bigger than the quarter. She is higher percent of Black Widow. You can see her red belly, like she's trying to grab onto this antler. I'm using an antler to poke her around. She's got the hourglass on her belly, and this is what I get to deal with, trying to pull all of my stuff out of the shed, which I'm like two seconds away from just burning down. Show you how big winter it's cooling down to like the low single digits at night time um i don't blanket all the horses i only blanket the ones that will be ridden in the winter time which is mostly my horses any of the older older horses which actually who would be the oldest this year? Johnny? Rider's horse? He'll get a blanket middle of the cold winter. Kind of when the cold snaps happen. Um, any of the babies that hit, hit the cold snap part of the year, of the winter, um, will come out and put little blankets on them. But they won't wear them from now till spring. We just go out in the coldest parts. Oh, yay. Okay, my nerves are shot, but here we are. <laughs> Back to sharing our daily lives of living with horses and black widows. <laughs>